The following program is video supplemental instruction. VSI is brought to you by the Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu. Alright, for number four, we're given a piecewise function and we need to evaluate a limit. So remember that when you're evaluating a limit, um, what you need to do is evaluate the limits from the left and the right and see if they're equal. If they are, then you have the limit of the function being that. If they're not, you have that it does not exist. So to check the limit as we approach 2, which is what this problem says, from both the left and the right, we need the piece of the function that includes those, which is not the second piece. So be careful about that. Uh, because it seems like that's the case, but it's not. So we have x squared minus 5x plus 6 all over x minus 2. Our other piece is just 4. So this is just a single point on the graph. x equals 2, the y is 4. This is the rest of the graph. A limit can never be defined by a single point because you have to do limits from the left and the right. So if you want to do a limit as you approach 2 from the left, which piece of this function are you using as you get to 2 but are not at it? You definitely use the top one because you're not at 2 yet. Same thing from the right, which piece of the function is approaching 2 from higher numbers but not actually 2? Again, the top piece. So that's what we're going to be using for both of these. So what we need to do is figure out what the limits as x approaches 2 from the left of f of x are, and the limit as we approach, x approaches 2 from the right of f of x. Well, to figure those out, the easiest way would be if we could just plug in 2 to that function and see what we get. However, if we try that, the denominator is 0, and that's bad. We need to try to factor that first. So our numerator, x squared minus 5x plus 6, that factors into x minus 3 x minus 2. On the denominator we have x minus 2, so you can see that actually cancels out, and now we have a pretty easy situation here. Because what we're doing is the limit as we approach 2 from the left and 2 from the right, not of this entire fraction now, but just x minus 3. So no matter what you plug in, in this case, we're going to get negative 1, because if you plug in 2 from the left or the right, if you subtract 3 from it, it's just 2 minus 3. There's no other conditions there. You just get negative 1. These are clearly equal, therefore the limit as x approaches 2 does exist, and it is negative 1, which is answer choice D. The Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu.